Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm from Kamika Love from thebudgetmom.com and today we are doing my very quick, affordable, super fast teriyaki chicken recipe. I've shared this recipe on my Instagram numerous times and it's become so popular I have more readers asking for it to be a YouTube uh, video. you only need three ingredients. You need soy sauce, brown sugar, and a splash of ground ginger. That's it. Um, so there's, it's important to mention there's a couple of different ways to make this teriyaki chicken recipe. And you can use many forms of chicken. So today we're gonna be baking the chicken in the oven, but you can also do it in an Instant Pot and I'll be addressing that a little bit later on. So today we're gonna to be using chicken thighs. I'm actually gonna be using two things of chicken thighs. Um, you can use drumsticks, you can use boneless, skinless chicken breasts. For my teriyaki, the best part of the chicken when you make teriyaki chicken is the skin. So I recommend getting a chicken that has a skin on it, but I have made it uh, skinless and it works just as fine. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I lay the chicken thighs in my pan, like so. And I need multiple pans. Now you can make, the great thing about this recipe is you can make a really huge batch and do leftovers. We like to eat them for lunches or you can do uh, leftovers for many different dinners. Um, we've actually shredded the teriyaki chicken the next day and made teriyaki bowls out of it. So super quick and easy recipe. So once I have that lined, I'm gonna start the sauce. All right, for the sauce, it's really simple. You need one cup of soy sauce. And I like to use the Kikuman soy sauce, and you also need one cup of brown sugar. Now with this recipe, if you wanna make a double batch, it's always that ratio. One cup of soy sauce and one cup of brown sugar. Or you could do two cups of soy sauce and two cups of brown sugar if you want more sauce. For the ground ginger, I literally just do a dash. So it looks like that in the top of the bowl there. And then what you wanna do is you want to whisk this really well. And you wanna make sure that that brown sugar is incorporated into the soy sauce and really soaks in into that soy sauce before dumping it on your chicken. And I'll show you here in a minute how to get a caramelized look or uh, and feel on your chicken. So you really wanna make sure that's really well incorporated. Now, let's talk about brown sugar for a second. I don't know if any of you guys have ever struggled with your brown sugar being very hard and clumpy after it's left for a while. I found something, a really helpful resource it's called the brown sugar bear and you can actually find this on amazon i'll put a link in the description of this video it's just a little teddy bear that looks like this you soak this in water and then you put it directly on top of your brown sugar and it makes it so your brown sugar doesn't clump or get hard while it's in the container i love it and it's really affordable and it actually works for me so all right, so let's make sure that that sauce is really well mixed. All right, so once your sauce is mixed, you just want to pour it over your chicken. So a little bit there. 
a little bit there. All right, once you cover your chicken with your sauce, it's actually ready to put in the oven. Now, if you're baking your chicken, I always have a go-to time. If you're baking your chicken in the oven, it's 20 minutes, you take it out of the oven, and then you're gonna flip the chicken over and bake for another 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and put these in the oven. You want your oven set to 350. All right, get the other pan in there. And you want this to be for 20 minutes. Okay, so the chicken's been in the oven for about 20 minutes, and now we're gonna take it out and flip the chicken over. So your chicken might look a little pale when it first comes out, but that's okay. And the great thing about this recipe too is the sauce is delicious. We pour it on our white rice when we have this meal. Okay, so now that this has been, so you just wanna flip your chicken over. And that brown sugar in the sauce will help give your chicken a nice caramelized look and, and taste. So I'm gonna flip those over. So there's one last thing that I do. When this is all said and done, I like to take just a little bit of brown sugar and I like to sprinkle just a little bit on the top. I like a really sweet teriyaki chicken. That's just how I prefer it. The great thing about the recipe is that you can always add more brown sugar to your soy sauce if you want a sweeter teriyaki sauce or you can incorporate a little bit more brown sugar onto your chicken like I'm doing um, as you're cooking it. So it's really up to your taste buds. All right, so now we're gonna stick this back in. We flip the chicken over, put sprinkle a little, little brown sugar on there. We're just gonna stick it back in the oven now for another 20 minutes. timer back at 20 minutes so even though we're baking the teriyaki chicken in the oven today you can also actually make it in an instapot and the great thing about that is you can cook frozen meat in the instapot now when I was moving and transitioning into my new home and we didn't have access to all of our food that was still left over at the apartment this recipe saved us. We made it time and time and time again every single week, but we did it using the Instapot. So with the Instapot, you would make the sauce the exact same way as I showed you in this video for baking it. You would then use any chicken you would like, frozen or thawed. If you're going to use frozen chicken in the Instapot, I like to do my frozen chicken for 13 minutes um, on the manual pressure with a uh, quick release at the end in my Instapot. If you're gonna use thawed chicken, I do anywhere between six and seven minutes on manual pressure in the Instapot, but you would just dump the sauce into your Instapot and then put your chicken in and then cook it that way and it works just as good as in, in the um, Instapot. All right, so the chicken is done. So we cooked it, on, baked it 20 minutes, one side, 20 minutes, the next side. As you can see, adding that brown sugar to the top gives it a nice, caramelized top. And these are great to have with white rice. The sauce is really nice with the white rice. So if you do a boneless, skinless chicken breast, it's this recipe is great to cut up the chicken and put them into rice bowls, or uh, you could do a cold slaw 
uh, bowl with the chicken teriyaki. So that's it. This is my really simple and really affordable teriyaki chicken recipe. Um, three ingredients plus your chicken. That's all you need for some great at-home teriyaki chicken. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>